Hey guys, come here. I know some of you shoot with uh, expensive models, but uh, here you go, bud. My models work for peanuts. Today we're out in the Great Smoky Mountains checking out the uh, new Su Ray T24 SK carbon fiber tripod and VA5 ultra compact video ahead provided by the nice folks at Su Ray. We're out in the uh, we're out al fresco in the open, so you may hear some extraneous noises. Uh, but we'll just have to deal with that. We're having some fun out here in the mountains testing out this new tripod. You know, uh, I'll go into a lot more detail here shortly, but, um, you know, one of the things that struck me right off the bat was the build quality, the attention to detail, and the overall fit and finish. And that's backed up by a six-year warranty. Now, I weighed the tripod itself at 1.8 pounds and the head at 1.1 pounds. Uh, so that's uh, that's really lightweight. I'll show you here in a minute in a little detail. It's really uh, well made and sturdy stuff. Taking a closer look at the uh, Suray VA5 fluid video tripod head. Uh, you know, really impressed with the uh, fit and finish as I mentioned. Uh, it'll give you an idea of the size of this compared to other ones. This is your basic 16 ounce water bottle, and uh, that's the size of the head. It also weighs. Uh, about the same as a, your basic water bottle and uh, it's got the quick release plate here with the safety catch on it and then just the uh, quick release here it slides on either forward or from the back so it's real easy to get on and off then you once you get it where you have it you just lock it down with a quarter turn like that and it's locked so uh, now the fluid head has uh, one quarter and three eighths inch uh, mounting screws. You just take out this piece of uh, rubber here and remove uh, whichever uh, mounting screw that you don't need. Put the piece of rubber back. And in my case, I use the smaller one so you're all set to go. All set to go. It's got a little bubble level on the uh, head and also one on the tripod. Now. Um, it's got a little spring tension on here, which is good because uh, uh, even especially when you leave it loose without tightening it up. The thing I liked is when you, as I mentioned several times later, when I'm in, in the field using this, to lock it. And, you know, it's it's just a little, just a slight pressure to lock it and unlock it. Really a nice firm feel to it. Same thing with the um, pan function. It's just a short turn to lock it on this little cam right here and likewise to adjust this. Now it comes with a tool kit with um, three allen wrenches that basically fit any allen heads on both the tripod and the uh, head if you need to make any adjustments. It comes with uh, you know clear straightforward instruction booklet. Overall I'd say it's a you know really high quality easy to use lightweight and compact uh, video head and then the tripod itself, here's another example. Uh, basically, it's the size of two water bottles and the weight of two water bottles. Weighs, I weighed it in at uh, just under two pounds. And I weighed in the, uh, the uh, head at uh, just over one pound. The tripod comes with a shorter center column piece that you can swap out the regular one with just by unscrewing the... Uh, hooking at the bottom and uh, taking this out take the um, mounting on here it also has the ability to uh, swap this over so that if you had to if you had a uh, head that used a quarter inch thread you can do that but uh, most cases you use a 3 8 so you just put that into the little short piece here And it's got sort of a built-in wrench head to it, so you just tighten a little bit. Put it in here, and then just uh, then you just screw the center piece back on. Like that. 
So you've got the uh, short centerpiece in here, which will make the uh, tripod with the legs spread as low as five inches. And I'll show you an example of that uh, later on in the, when I use it in the field. I mean, that's actually a very useful uh, feature because a lot of times when you're shooting wildlife, especially ground dwelling uh, animals or birds, and you want to get a nice perspective, you want to get this down low. And this tri tripod will go as low as 5.5 uh, inches. So that's a nice feature. And there you can just put it back the way it was, no problem. Pretty easy to work with. The leg locking cams are really easy to work with. Nice positive feel. Just go until you click it and bring it down. So that's your lowest position, which can go down to five inches. And then your intermediate positions. Real nice, uh, firm, solid connection. Now, I personally like these kind of tripod leg releases rather than the uh, than the levers. You know, I, uh, you know, of course, you buy in a real expensive tripod, you would expect the levers uh, won't break, and uh, maybe they won't. But I bought I bought a number of uh, less than the highest price tripods with levers, and they break, and it's like a single point of failure. I've had tripods with these kind of uh, locks on them for 10 years now and they've never failed me. But these are only take a half a turn to tighten and a half a turn to untighten. So they're real easy to unload all three of them at once. Not a big deal. It doesn't slow you down. In fact, I would argue that it's faster than, uh, than the clips or at least as fast. And it's just a matter of preference. But I actually like the twist uh, locks rather than the uh, clip locks. Overall, I'm very impressed with the, uh, the build, the carbon fiber, the uh, quality. Uh, a lot of uh, effort and detail went in there. And of course, the proof is in the pudding. So I like to go out and uh, shoot with a tripod and a head. So that's what we'll talk about next is uh, out there using it in the field. So let's do it. OK, I have the SX-70 on here now. And uh, it just fits uh, perfectly on the uh, plate and uh, is kind of pretty much perfectly balanced at the zero line on the plate and it's it's light like I said it's, the, this camera weighs about just just a hair under a pound I think so the video head works really great with a you know a lightweight super zoom camera now we're gonna move uh, actually you know the, the lighter cameras are actually tend to be more of a challenge for the uh, heads because they and a little bit of weight on there actually makes it run smoothly, but it runs perfectly smooth with this lightweight camera on it. Okay, we've got the bigger rig on here. This is a uh, Tamron 150 to 600 lens on a Canon body. And uh, the uh, listed uh, maximum weight of the uh, video head is 6.6 .6 pounds. And as luck would have it, this rig weighs exactly 6.6 .6 pounds with a double battery pack and the extra grip and... Uh, and it's perfectly balanced. You can see I've got it set at the 150 millimeter. And uh, it's perfectly balanced at 6.6 .6 pounds. I have no, uh, no friction at all on the tilt. So that's in perfect balance. In fact, it's, you see here. Perfect balance at the zero point. Now, of course, most of the time I'm probably going to be shooting this lens at 600. And so I'll adjust the balance for that. Now we have the Tamron uh, extended to the full length of 600 millimeters. And you can see that it's uh, perfectly balanced. Basically, the, the balance the difference is from about 10 forward to a little over 10 backward. And again, this is like, this is like totally loose. I mean, if I touch it, this is, you know, perfectly balanced, just, there you go, back to balance. So 
So that's in perfect balance with no friction whatsoever. It does about 90 degrees down. And about 60 degrees up. So I'm pretty impressed, man. I'm running this right at the maximum, you know, the absolute maximum rated weight for this unit, and it works fine. So, okay, let's shoot some video. If I was uh, taking photos, I'd be using a gimbal head, and we'll test a gimbal head with this tripod in another day. That's the advantage of the tripod. If you're holding that by your hand, uh, you know, it's just going to be, the video's going to be all over the place. I don't care how hard you try and uh, brace yourself. We're at... Uh, 100x zoom right now. Okay, now I'm going to release the lock. And we're going to go over here. Zoom even further in on this guy. Get it right about where I want it. And lock it. That on a cheap tripod, it's, it's surprisingly difficult to do. It's just one, of the, one of the things you see so many times on cheap tripods is the, uh, the vertical will sink on you if you don't log it down completely. And this way, you, this one just has a real easy uh, lever that locks it with just a little bit of effort. Okay, now. This is why a tripod is so useful. I've got the really a target-rich environment right now. I've got a big crow on the house over there. I've got a white ibis and a crow on a lamp post on the other side of the house. And over here I've got a squirrel close, so okay. A lot of action. So I've locked right into him. And this is really... Um, why a tripod is so important to me uh, is a light tripod that I can put on a backpack and walk around in because traditionally I uh, use my uh, super zoom point and shoot SX70 walking in the woods or uh, or just you know having something to get a um, target of opportunity but if you do find a good target or opportunity and or you know you're going to a place where you're going to have a good target of opportunity the tripod, when it comes to video, is just so essential to making good video. I mean, you look at this video, I mean, it's a squirrel eating, okay. Not, not, but it shows how rock steady it can be. And I'll tell you what we're going to do here. We'll zoom back out. And we're locked onto the crow, just like that. And I'm going to back off so he can come over and enjoy his breakfast. As friendly as he is, he's telling me that he wants his breakfast. Okay, buddy. Patient, though. Okay, buddy, time for breakfast. Who did you eat my breakfast with, buddy? Alright, the crow just took the piece of bread and now he's over here. Well, every low-priced or knockoff tripod that I've ever used it's had that problem with the uh, tilt drift. You lock it, release it, and it drifts from where you want it. This one stays rock solid. To me, that's the most important thing. Okay, this is with the SX-70. Now we're going to switch to the heavy artillery. Okay, so I've got the 600mm uh, rig uh, tilted down at about a 30 degree angle, 25-30 degree angle. So I'm going to go from each of these each of these three uh, squirrels I'm 
Number two. Lock on him. Nice and steady. Locks down at about a 35 degree angle right now because he's closer. And now we'll go to the other one. Squirrel number three. And we lock on him. And that's what I love about this tripod, is just, uh, even with this, this big lens tilted down at about 35 degrees, it locks solid. Okay, let's go to the squirrel number one again. Lock it. Now in this case I'm running a little bit of pressure on the uh, tilt lock switch, about half pressure. So what I like about it is you don't have to, I don't want to lock it down super hard here. I just have enough have enough tension on it that the 6.6 .6 pound rig will uh, stop and hold steady. I'm pointing it down at about a 30-35 degree angle. So. Uh, and it's not, uh, not moving, so that's good. Oh, what are you doing? Hanging upside down over here, dude? See, that's the nice thing about not having to lock it down. Doing a little bad act there, buddy. So let me go back down to the peanut. And again, see, I don't have it locked. I just have some tension on it. And that's a, almost a seven pound rig. I know exactly how I feel, buddy. It's getting hot out there. Now this time I've got this camera totally loose. Everything's totally loose. Just because I know this guy's moving around, he's doing some interesting, uh, interesting behavior that I want to catch. <laughs> See, that's it. It's a, you know. That's nice to have it. I'm holding this big heavy lens and I'm controlling it with just no effort at all. And for taking pictures, you might use a gimbal, but for when the situation arises, is you've got a cute subject doing something interesting, like this guy. Thank you, buddy. In case you want to see what's going on here, let me grab my camera phone. Hey guys, come here. I know some of you shoot with uh, expensive models, but uh, here you go, bud. My models work for peanuts. The tripod makes a great uh, table type tripod, but it's also real easy to go low. It comes with a uh, extra center post that you can swap out with a regular one to really go low get down and get the different perspectives on things. A lot of times you want to be down low to the ground for ground dwelling animals rather than shooting them from above. Perspective, it's all about perspective. It's a lot more interesting seeing that squirrel eating a peanut down at squirrel eye level than it is from up here at my eye level. And what I've got here is, um, you know, the uh, tripod video head comes in a nice carrying case, which you could use if you're traveling in your luggage or whatever. Just carry it with you as your shoulder strap. The entire thing with the uh, video head, tripod, and bag, and all the tools and everything is four pounds. Another way you might that I would most likely carry this if I was out traveling with my Mountain Smith Day Pack, which is my go-to, uh, you know, day-long photo photography uh, uh, setup. And I usually use this with just carrying my um, super zoom camera, and not my heavy equipment. You can see here's the uh, tripod; it fits right on the bottom. The entire uh, tripod and ball head together weighs about 2.9 pounds. And uh, you know, I always carry a carabiner on my uh, packs, 
to use the hook to the bottom, the hook on the bottom of the uh, tripod that add, added stability. If I'm going to be carrying my heavy duty gear, like the uh, Canon DSLR with uh, long lens, I'll use the Canon backpack. And same thing with the day pack, there's a couple of places you could use to uh, attach the uh, Suray tripod. So it's, uh, it's real light and uh, compact and uh, really a lot of different ways that you could uh, carry it around with you.